Hello, my wonderful shiny gems. How's it going? Today we'll be discussing local variables, global variables, and character variables. We want to get these variables in your heads and what what they're capable of doing before we start in with the actual mushy editor. Um, so that way you can come and reference this video anytime you need to and not have to scratch your head wondering what we're talking about when we add a variable of some sort. All right. Okay. So um, let's start off with uh, the two variables that are based off of the thespians. So we have Draco here and Midnight. All right. Um, they're not named. I haven't gotten to doing that. Anyways, let's get into the mushy editor. I've discussed this before. This is the last time I'm going to mention it. You must either be an admin or have mushy editor access via admin or rank or some something, just something. You need that um, ability to click this. All right. So first and foremost, this is what you get. Um, origin node tends to be here. I have a habit of just putting it there automatically. Um, it's just an auto habit of mine. Um, that's why it's over there. All right, so the first variable we're going to discuss is local variable. This is local to the Pacific thespian you're working on at the time. Okay, I'll, I'll say it again in a different way. Local variables are Pacific to the thespian you're working on at the time. So if I were to create a local variable now, and we'll call it Bose, and and uh, Draco has, I don't know, five bows on hand right now for some reason. He has five bows on hand, okay? This is a local variable. It's a counter. Variables are counters, basically. It's, it counts. Um, it, it, it's a counter. All right. Now, if we close this, get out of here. Uh, sure. Hit apply, close. We go over here. And we go to Midnight's Mushy Editor. Um, and uh, go to her local variables. You will not see it. If we add a local variable and name it swords for her, and she has two swords on hand for her for some reason, um, and we hit close, we hit save, um, quit, apply. Uh, do that and then we go back to Drake over here you will only see his bows you will not see her swords again local variables are specific to that thespian that you're working on all right now for global variables um, global variables uh, yeah global variables are Variables that all thespians have access to. All right. So if you create a global variable, um, well, 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 we'll name it a pickaxe. We'll say all in, in the entire world, all the thespians have access to a total of 20 pickaxes of some sort. I mean, it doesn't have to be pickaxes. It could be, um, it could be whatever you want it to be. Uh, uh, I, I I just can only think of pickaxes for some reason right now. Um, you hit close. You sit save. You hit close. Apply save. If we go over to midnight, and we hit her mushy editor, and we go look up global, there's the twenty pickaxes. All right. That is global. They're, they're, all thespians have access to global variables. All right. Um, the other thing is is adding local editing and adding a local variable this way is not the only way to add a local variable. We'll get into that later when we get into the mushy editor nodes and scripts and whatnot. But um, yeah, the, this isn't just, this isn't the only way, it's just the easiest way so I can explain what, what each variable means. And the reason I say this is because 
if you notice, there's no character variable lookup. And if you remember, if you go back into the older videos under like under the player tabs, um, you'll notice there was no character uh, 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 variables to look up either. So that's the one reason why I'm saying that right now. That's not the only way to create a local variable, global variable, or otherwise. Okay. The other, the third, and probably the more important variable, in my opinion, is the character variable. It is attached to your character. Yeah, this, this thing that's jumping up and down. It is attached to her, it's attached to your character specifically. A good um, use for character variables tends to be reputation. If you have Age of Calamitous and you want um, people to have a certain reputation with the Van Gool before they can get a gold token for the Van Gool or something like that, you can do that, especially if you're trying to like, oh, hey, yeah, you can have more than one, um, one, one, one faction to be attached to. You can be attached to the Van Gool and the Hold Embrace or something like that if you get your reputation up type idea. There's, um, you could also do reputation of Black Hand or something like that. Uh, but that is character variables. Um, it's attached to the character. So unfortunately, if the person deletes the character, they would have to start all over with those, um, with getting the reputation and everything. So just keep that in mind. Um, but thespians, uh, thespian variables are specific to the thespian and uh, local variables is specific to the thespian and then global variables all thespians have access to. All right, guys, that was the variables, local, global, and character variables. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget, stay shiny. And I'll see you guys all next time.